Hey guys, Jason Long here with Heartland Home KC. Just wanted to uh, jump all through uh, today and, and talk about kind of how the real estate trends are changing with this whole pandemic that we are amidst. What's up, Drew? Hey, Jason. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Um, let's start with my first question here, Jason, of what is the most common trend you're seeing amongst buyers right now and what kind of human behavior have you seen kind of play into that um with buyers as far as everything going on still with COVID-19 and uh what people are kind of looking for as far as location and things like that uh for their next home yeah absolutely um and you know today i kind of wanted this to be you know i've got obviously what i see and and kind of my opinions um but i, I want to get some feedback you know and to see what other people are, are kind of seeing and what their feedback is and and uh, thoughts so but as far as the trends um i mean you, you've seen it really across the nation um but you know even localized in our city i think some people that whether you're in an apartment, you know, a more dense area or a more dense area of town, um, they're moving out to either the suburbs or somewhere where it's a little bit less populated. Uh, cause you know, with this whole pandemic, you know, everyone's got their own comfort zone. Some people, you know, just kind of, you know, go along with the flow. Other ones <clears throat> kind of taking a step back, you know, want to, um, Feel a little safer i guess and distance themselves and so you're seeing that in the real estate trends as well you know um just where they're moving so uh that that's what i see and i i mean nationally it's kind of about the same yeah absolutely i mean obviously um with space being the biggest point of concern with covid 19 right is all about the proximity of person to person right so right. with that being said jason um do you foresee potentially that uh some buyers now maybe more than they used to look to potentially buy up land in more kind of rural areas and be able to either build a new home or find a maybe an older property that's on maybe more land um, things of that nature where it gives them kind of those natural proximity and or natural space, I should say, not proximity, but that natural space. So that way that they're looking to get their space and everything like that uh, via with move by moving to a more rural area. Yep. Yep. No, Drew, that's a great point. <clears throat> um, I, I've had more people in the last, uh, what, nine months. Um, Say, hey, find me some land, find me three, five, 10 acres, you know, out and I'll build a house or whatever. But, you know, I mean, it's just not it's there, but it, I mean, it's not it's not on the market. But, you know, um, some of the outskirts like up in Kearney, uh, they have the the neighborhoods where, you know, they have one to three acre lots and uh, Smithville's got some. And man, those things, any available lots, you know, left those those things sold out and. I mean, if somebody else could find the land to develop that and th those things would just fly off the shelf. I mean, people want their distance and, and you know, they want to be somewhere out with a with a little bit of land and a bunker just in case uh, doomsday comes. But uh, maybe not to that extreme, but some people are. Uh, so, yeah, land. People are definitely looking for it and they want it. Yeah, I could imagine. So and then uh, that's the first I've heard that people are again looking at more bunker ideas so yeah, yeah. i mean good to know i mean maybe i need to start looking to install one myself here <laughs> um, but with that being said jason let's move to more of the kind of interior of the home if you will yeah. um what sort of uh features um to a new a new or either whether it's new construction or buying an already built or existing home uh, for resale, what sort of features within that home are people looking for when it comes to whether it's the layout of the home or how to best use their square footage uh, with, every, again, everything COVID related and 
uh, again, yeah, just what are those features people are seeking? Right. No, that's a good point. And uh, <clears throat> I've had conversations about this too, you know, since we do build new homes and we've kind of looked at some of these, I mean, just trying to redesign a home that, um, you know, kind of meets these criteria. But with, you know, I think one of the bigger uh, spaces in a house that people are looking for since gyms were closing down, you know, somewhere, someplace to have a home gym or, or to work out in their home, um, which is not a bad idea because who knows? I mean, if this happens again or something similar and, you know, um, just need, and, and again, with people's comfort level, they may not feel comfortable going back to a gym and sweating it out with, you know, 30, 40 other people. So that, that kind of space was, was one of them, um, you know, and, and the work from home, uh, homeschooling, which some people have gone all virtual or, or, or just switched all together to homeschool. So uh, a space in the house, whether it's a home office or a classroom type setting or, or a flex space is what some of them are calling, calling it now, um, just so they can have that activity in that room separate from the rest of the house. Uh, but overall, uh, square footage, I think people are wanting a more efficient house and not so much, you know, a smaller footprint. Um, so I've seen that in like a safe room, like we talked about, maybe a safe room in the basement to where, uh, you know, whether it's for a tornado or a storm or something, but also just in case, you know, they've they got to hide out and people are doing their little store uh, stash of like canned goods and water and, and you know, supplies. And um, so uh, but also with the whole pandemic and just people more health conscious right now as far as what they're breathing in and um, people are wanting healthier homes. Um, so just they're looking at the materials the home's built out of, um, which one of the biggest dust and allergen causes is the insulation that's in your walls and uh, carpet, fibrous, you know, goods in the house as well. Um, so they're looking for healthier homes, um, just something that uh, is more uh, hypoallergenic and um, better on the environment and uh, to the human body. So those are just kind of some of the things, things I'm seeing. Um, but I'd love to hear feedback and see what our other wants and needs for, for other people that are looking to buy or just have an opinion on it. Yeah, absolutely. Jason, kind of something you mentioned there that, uh, hit a chord with me is having a more efficient home, you know, where yeah. whether it's having that flex space to, turn into a classroom for a few hours then to roll it out to be a yoga studio for example, <laughs> you know so being able to have a space like that uh definitely would be handy especially during these times especially with a busy household with parents potentially working from home as well with the kids doing online school can be uh quite the chaotic mess sometimes you know so yeah. Um, the last question I have for you is just in general, do you see, because of all the things you just mentioned, do you see that buyers that you're working with are typically looking for more square footage or potentially less square footage, um, based on the fact of mm -hmm. could potentially get more square footage, but the home be maybe not as efficient for their needs? Or, or they have something where that is less square footage, but is kind of meets their criteria, kind of just in general, what are you seeing with that? Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Um, you know, it, I've seen both sides of it too. You know, now that you got say two parents and three or four kids in the same house cooped up together, like we need more space, you know, I don't want to be, <laughs> be near these, these guys, uh, all day, every day. But for the most part, I mean, you know, it's still a good market and low inventory. So with all that aside, you know, buyers are kind of just getting something that they can work with, you know? Um, and it, it's a little bit about square footage. I mean, you got to make sure that it's going to be a, a right size house, right fit for you. But, um, in general, yeah, I think um, if, if they had their, their way and could find it, you know, they're looking at square footage and just, something that's going to, uh, I mean, they're looking at location too, um, you know, like walkability, you know, what, what you can walk to and um, what they call, the Zillow calls a walk score. 
Uh, but square footage is definitely a key. I mean, some people are looking for something bigger they can spread out or add those spaces into um, if it's an existing home. But I think if they're if they're starting from scratch and building, you're looking at a more efficient home, maybe adding those spaces in and taking out like say a dining room or, or something. And, you know, you're making like a big eat in, eat at Island uh, instead of a dining room and using that dining space is like a flex space. So kind of just reorganizing uh, the different rooms and, and making it more, you know, fit their, fit their lifestyle. Absolutely. I think that's what it, uh, again, with everything COVID related we've had, it's, that's what it's been all about is, how do we adjust our lifestyle to fit right. our resources and what we're able to do? So awesome. Well, great stuff today, Jason. I appreciate you having me on as always and uh, answering my questions about uh, what's going on here in the Kansas City real estate market. Yeah, man, I appreciate it. Absolutely, Jason. Well, we'll see you next time. And uh, again, appreciate you having me on. All right. Sounds good, Drew.